secretary is in Washington today furthering talks about the wars in Gaza and Ukraine. David Cameron met with the Secretary of State Antony Blinken this morning and reiterated the importance of Congress passing the multi-billion dollar aid package for Ukraine. Good morning, everyone. It's profoundly in your interest uh, and your security and your future and the future of all your partners to release this money and, and let it through. CBS News Intelligence and National Security reporter Olivia Gasses has more from Washington. Uh, Olivia, what came from the meeting today? Sure, Lilia. So this is, of course, a meeting of the two top diplomats from among the world's closest allies, very close partners who have an ongoing dialogue. But as you highlighted at the top, chief among the concerns today uh, was how to sustain support to Ukraine, both of them stressing that imperative of passing the $60 billion supplemental that is still languishing in the U.S. Congress. Uh, the, the foreign secretary said that in order for C Ukraine to reverse the losses that it sustained on the battlefield and uh, reinvigorate its, advance, uh, its uh, defenses against Russia, that is uh, an absolutely essential piece of aid. Uh, they also, of course, discussed uh, development in Gaza and Israel, both of them acknowledging that some initial steps had been taken by the Israeli government to boost the amount of humanitarian aid getting into the enclave, but that more and more sustained actions are going to be necessary, crucial among them opening up new crossings for aid to get through and establishing that deconfliction cell to better coordinate with aid groups who are distributing that desperately needed aid across Gaza. Question, does Cameron's message have any impact on uh, Congress and on lawmakers who are holding uh, that aid? Sure. Well, he heads here from here at the State Department to meetings on Capitol Hill, where he has a slate of meetings set up with uh, senators and congressmen from both parties. He stressed at the presser here today that he's not here to lecture or cajole American policymakers about how to do their jobs, but again, to highlight how profoundly in the U.S.'s interest it is to uh, put forward this uh, support for Ukraine. It boosts uh, the American industrial base, and it sends an important message uh, not only to Vladimir Putin about uh, Western cohesion, but also to important onlookers, uh, including North Korea, including Iran, and including uh, China, whose authoritarian leaders may be taking important lessons from not only what happens on the battlefield in Ukraine, but the Western cohesion, the, uh, the cohesion of the Western alliance that's backing him. Very quick, about sending a message, is it normal that he also met with Trump? Uh, is that something that was to be expected before I let you go? He did stress that that was an important precedent. He had previously met with Senator Romney, with Senator Obama in previous years. He highlighted that Blinken had taken meetings with the British opposition leader, uh, but he did not betray a whole lot of detail from his meeting with Mr. Trump, saying that it was private, and they discussed a range of international issues. Got it. Olivia, thanks so much. Thank you.